Virgo. You need to know this right now for January the 4th through January the 5th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for January the 4th through January the 5th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for January the 4th through January the 5th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for January the 4th through January the 5th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Virgo. Virgo, these are your cards, honey. So, Virgo, you have the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So, Virgo, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Now, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication about finances and the lack thereof. You can tell me that you're coming into some truth and clarity concerning these finances. You could be severing with this person over finances. I hope not, Virgo. Virgo, you can tell me that you guys had some type of conversation and you guys broke up. You can tell me that you came into some type of truth and clarity that caused you to break up with this person. Are you just making a decision to use this sword to sever and break up? Virgo, you have the nine of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Clarify the nine of wands for Virgo. Clarify the nine of wands. In front of the nine of wands. Clarify the nine of wands for Virgo. Clarify the nine of wands. For Virgo, clarify the nine of wands. For Virgo, it is clarified with the ten of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success in abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Virgo, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. 
Now, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that, you know, you're highly suspicious, you have your guard up, you don't trust here, you're standing your ground concerning these coins, this abundance here. Maybe making a decision concerning it. Virgo, you can tell me because you don't trust something here, this commitment, marriage, living together situation or family dynamics may be ending. Maybe severing and ending things here. Virgo, you have the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Virgo, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Clarify the two of cups for Virgo. Clarify the two of cups. For Virgo, clarify the two of cups. For Virgo, it is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Virgo. Clarify the moon for Virgo. Clarify the moon for Virgo. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Virgo, you can tell me that you guys had some immature, premature communication, or you went looking in spying. Clarify the page of swords for Virgo. Clarify the page of swords for Virgo. Clarify the page of swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Virgo, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Virgo, I feel like you're looking, you're discovering some type of secret about some type of deception. Now, this deception could be in you guys' relationship, dealing with your soulmate here. Or this deception is concerning some type of an agreement concerning these coins. Something you're finding out here. You had your guard up, so you intuitively may have felt like you needed to go checking into something. Virgo, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings. So Virgo, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. Some type of new opportunity here, Virgo. This can be about someone offering commitment, but you want to check and make sure that all is well before you accept. After some type of breakup or you're finding out something and deciding to break up or this is about commitment here. I don't know. Maybe you're looking for some type of strings attached here with this practicality here. 
Virgo, you have the nine of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Virgo, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Virgo, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Virgo, clarify the chariot. For Virgo, clarify the chariot. For Virgo, it is clarified with the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the King of Cups. For Virgo, clarify the King of Cups. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Virgo, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Virgo, it is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Virgo could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Virgo. Clarify the devil for Virgo. Clarify the devil for Virgo. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star. For Virgo, clarify the star. For Virgo, clarify the star. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. 
Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Virgo, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. Virgo, clarify the world for Virgo, clarify the world for Virgo. It is clarified with the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune, or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo. It is clarified with the king of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the King of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the King of Wands for Virgo. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Virgo, could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Virgo. Clarified temperance for Virgo. Clarified temperance. For Virgo, it is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So Virgo, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. You know, Virgo, when I look at this sentence, this long sentence here, when I look at it, it makes me feel like 
you ain't playing no games at all. This is a business transaction, whether this is work or business or relationship. Because Virgo, you can tell me that this is about your financial stability here and an actual change in your luck and fortune. And it very well could be some type of travel involved here, okay? Some type of compromise and negotiations concerning this legal binding contract that gives you this abundance here, Virgo. You know, you may feel like it's something sneaky going on with this agreement here. You're looking into it, okay? Something you don't trust concerning all these coins sitting in your face here. And you're having to make a decision because at present you may be suffering some type of financial lack and you need to do this but you're being um what is the word i want to use uh sharp you're being sharp about the situation you're paying attention to detail you're leaving no stone unturned virgo this can also be about relationship and commitment here because now you're questioning whether or not you want to be single but i feel like there's some type of setting the record straight there's some type of compromise and negotiations here you know and maybe even a timing factor okay in order to come back around again and heal things but someone may very well have commitment on the brain here it's just that you're a little hesitant you may feel like there was some type of deception here some type of secret coming out concerning your soulmate and you want to look into things first it's, it's almost like no matter what you're offering me i'm a not i'm not about to just bite the apple i want to look into it I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Virgo. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, love affair, dirty little secret down low. Love affair, dirty little secret down low. So you're spying on your soulmate here because you think there's some type of deception going on. What else? For Virgo. What else? For Virgo. And it says interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. Interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. Okay. Clear the air here. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Virgo, you need to know this right now for really January the 4th through January the 5th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.